I would like for uh, Reverend Kimberly to say a few words and then we'll get rolling. Well, thank you, Sunshower. This is a real honor to have Sunshower be part of our um, ongoing classes and online classes because since we can't get together and um, we're having to kind of self-isolate and all that stuff, it's just so nice to be able to have people as talented as Sunshower be able to share with us some of their talents with the community at large and some of our own Center of Universal Light talent. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, the spiritual director of Center of Universal Light in Cottonwood, and this is just something we want to keep going. We love this, and we're so appreciative, and, and I think most everybody knows who Sunshower is, so I'm not going to try to introduce her because that would just be duplicitous of what you guys already know, because I can tell by the way she's talking, you already know her. So, and with that, I thank you so much. We, um, I'm just really excited about this. Thank you all for being here. Well, thank you so much, Kimberly. It's a real joy to see everybody here. All people are still coming in. Actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get started with this presentation called Collaborative Artworks. Uh, so I'm going to mute everybody. I'm, I'm not exactly new to uh, Zoom. I've been doing it around four years since the time that the words collaborative artworks came to me, um, kind of in a dream. And, uh, and, and now it's become my legacy to the planet. So who to thunk it? Uh, so but I've, I've done a few uh, presentations around the uh, Yavapai County in Arizona uh, at libraries. And, and it was really cool to actually have people um, participate uh, in the creation of the collaborative pieces. Uh, I do love to tutor. I love to tutor watercolor. That's probably my forte is watercolor and other mixed media. Um, and I also tutor Photoshop. So what you're gonna be seeing today is some of my artwork, which is watercolor, and some that has been produced digitally through um, Photoshop. We're also going to have some polling going on. Well, what's that? Well, it's very much like as if you were in the room with me, except we can't be in the room with each other. So when I put up a poll, I'm going to give you an opportunity to like vote on several things image-wise as we go along. So that'll be fun. And so it'll definitely be a participatory thing. It won't just be me giving a demonstration. So at this point, um, I'm going to share a screen, and I'm going to uh, let's see, and I'm going to give you a, a little PowerPoint presentation that I put together to give you an idea of how um, this actually goes. And this this has been kind of coming to me since I was a kid, I think, um, at about age. Six, I used to watch Casper the Friendly Ghost, and I always thought he was so cool because he was not only friendly, but he was transparent. And now with collaborative artworks, you'll see that that's a big part of the uh, art artworks that are produced. And then when I was in my teens, I discovered the holographic thing, and there was actually a, a museum in Newport Beach, uh, California that I went to, and, and it did show holograms and it just blew my mind because they were so realistic and yet you could see right through them as you can see here in Star Wars. So in my own paintings, you know, this is mostly watercolor, some acrylic, you can see that I was even beginning to incorporate the, uh, the transparency thing. Uh, you know, this one's called story time and Grandpa Gnome is actually sitting there and he's kind of transparent. And so I did that, um, I think in around 95 or so. And now you're seeing uh, a piece where the female on the left is slightly transparent and she's part of the trees. Um, and then I started playing with, uh, you know, the piece on the left is like, uh, water-based dyes that I used in ink. And then I played in Photoshop uh, with that piece and, and inverted the colors. 
So I af often do that sort of thing when I'm making my collaborations. And then I actually uh, started combining pieces. So the two that you just saw are together here with some kind of radical things that I did in Photoshop. And this one's a very popular piece in uh, my collaborations. I always say this guy, he really gets around. So if you were to go to Instagram and go to Collaborative Artworks or my Facebook page, which is also Collaborative Artworks, and this is uh, him again, but now he's inverted and I flipped him. So he's facing the other way, horizontally. And here he is again, and I call this Blue Heron Heart. <clears throat> now this is a piece I did in 1978 called Sandpipers on Aqua. It's done in acrylic. And here we go. So here's the heron. And I have him going backwards. <laughs> but he's slightly transparent, as you see here, too. Um, the transparent thing is a big part of the collaborations, as you'll come to understand. This is him again in another collaboration. So I'm gonna move along pretty quickly. So you can tell that the wings that you're seeing here are actually from the hair and I just turned them and um, mirrored them and, and inverted them uh, color-wise. This is a photo by my friend Ken. Beautiful cathedral rock, which is beautifully uh, reflected in that water that you see. And so here is the heron, only it's just his wings right and slightly transparent both above and below uh, okay and so there's the actual collaboration which is now on my business cards i call this my signature piece so this is a photo by another man up in canada that i worked with pretty continuously we actually had some of our collaborations in a magazine <clears throat> and so I, you know, it's like, yeah, those wings and that heron are really getting around. Just like this, I call this red ballerina. Um, I created this in Photoshop. Um, I just illustrated away. And um, actually, I wanted to show you how I illustrate. So maybe somebody can remind me about how, to, how I illustrate when I get done with this part of the presentation, okay? And this is a watercolor, um, it's called Grecian Grace. And there's that same chick. Now she's part of the picture. So the, the cool part about collaborations like this is that the viability of the background, which is now the door and the bougainvillea and the walls, is still there. Uh, there's nothing away from it, it's not like gone. Nothing has been superimposed, so you can't see certain things. You can still see it because of the transparent view of the, of the female, which is on an upper layer, which I will refer to in, when we do our collaboration together. That will be the foreground. And you might recognize this, John Soderbergh's work called Merlin. And uh, I did a couple of collaborations with his work by his permission. And he's actually part of my movie, which is Collaborative Artworks on um, Vimeo. And he actually speaks about this sort of thing, um, the, the, the way we did our collaboration and why he created Merlin the way he did and so forth. So there we go. This uh, face here I, is just one of my faces that I've um, done digitally and it's just a favorite. I really like her look. And so I just call it a uh, raven-haired kiss. And this is just to show you a couple of different things that I can, we can do it, anybody can do in Photoshop if, if they just play around a little bit. And this is the gentleman whose uh, black and white photo you saw a little earlier out of Ontario, Canada. And this is one of his many, many pieces. He's on Instagram, very, very, uh, very accomplished. So, and there's the raven-haired kiss lady, superimposed, as it were, on to that piece. And here's a piece I did in the 90s called uh, Gemini Woman. 
And there she is with another piece of um, Wayne Fisher's. And there's the red ballerina in yet another one of Wayne's photos. And there she is again. So you can see I can flip and I can duplicate and make things different sizes and all uh, with a, a background that is still visible. And here she is again being all futuristic. And here she is again with a, um, a particular kind of diamond. This is a piece I did quite a number of years ago. And I just took that bottom right part, that part right there, and I put this part into several different collaborations too. So Wayne Fisher again with <laughs> that same couple. And this just shows the, uh, the magazine that we were featured in. And here's a nice Grecian piece. I love Grecian stuff, can you tell? And I did a Zoom interview with this young woman, Merritt Moore, who's a ballerina, physics on point. The reason it's called physics is because now she's a doctor in quantum physics, but she takes the greatest poses and has the greatest outfits. So there she is. And there's a Wayne Fisher photo, and I created a collaboration. So you see there's three signatures there. Mine's at the bottom right because I put the collaboration together, but Wayne Fisher has been given credit and physics on point because we're all, we're all part of this collaboration. And here's Merritt again with another Wayne Fisher photo. And that one just worked out really nice. I really liked the bottom part there. And then I, then I started adding my action lines and they're kind of like ribbons of movement. Um, yeah. So again, the only thing I did was create the ribbons of movement and put the collaboration together. So basically, it was their photos, but then I just put it together. So that's the whole point is that this is a legacy that I'm leaving to the planet, which means anybody can do this. And you don't have to be an artist. You might need somebody who knows to, how to play around in Photoshop, but that's about it. And here's an, yet another example, and yet another. She's there too in that, in that piece too. So now we're gonna move on to another piece that I created digitally, which is called You Make Me Feel Like Dancing. And I played with it in Photoshop after I finished it, and there's another version of it. And I put them uh, against a building that I took a picture of in Flagstaff. And then I put them, I changed their colors and I put them in a cathedral by Gaudi. And there's a girl with geese, watercolor and ink. And there she is again. But I inverted her colors and she's in a, she's next to a Scottish castle. And there's that story time again. Well, I played with it too. Here's another piece that I created digitally in Photoshop. This is called Wind at Your Back. And just a few more places that I have put her. Yeah. Now you can hardly see her there because she's, um, her transparency it has been toned way, way back. It's actually called opacity, which we'll be talking about when we do our collaboration together. This is a collaboration with me and my photo and my art both. This is um, the photo I took at the bottom there and the lady named Kate, who gave me permission to put her into this collaboration that you're seeing. And then I added those ribbons of action again. Oh yeah, where is all this going? Well, I want you to think big. Because ultimately, if you can picture our work together being projected through 3D mapping projection, it could look something like this. And it might even be put into motion. Well, that was fascinating. Um, 
I would just like to say though, people that are creative take it for granted because it's not that easy if you're not creative. So I admire your creativity. Oh, thank you so much, Kathleen. Um, my answer to that is always, it's just practice. <laughs> no, it's not, <laughs> but I appreciate, uh, appreciate you sharing it. Oh, well, thank you. Anybody else want to say anything about what they just saw? Really beautiful. I appreciate seeing your wonderful work. I, I just didn't know the, uh, all of the things that you can do with, uh, with Photoshop. That's amazing. Yeah, it's quite endless, isn't it? <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> yeah, you've just seen the tip of the iceberg. So um, now, unless there's some other comments or questions, I'd like to... Um, all right, so I'm going to share a screen again. And so um, you see several images arching in space. And this, this photo is by Reverend Kimberly and I'm calling it Kimberly Iris Garden. And then I have another one of hers called, I'll make this bigger for you. This one's, uh, we're calling a beach sunset. And here's another one I'm gonna click. Uh, this one I'm calling it uh, Kimberly C. Birds 2. Cause there's another one that she has that also has birds, right? Okay. Now this one that you're gonna see here is a photo that I took in 1980, I think, back in Newport Beach. And then I think you saw this one a little earlier when I showed you some of my uh, collaborations, Sandpipers on Aqua. This is done in acrylic in 1978. And this is a kind of a collaboration, two different photos taken recently. I put them together with a sienna colored uh, background like that. And this was taken right here on the ranch where I live. I'm just going to call this White Daisy Meadow. So that's going to be your choices. Okay, you're, I'd like to get your opinions, but only want you to choose one, okay? So go ahead and start. If you have the ability with your mouse, <clears throat> you should just be able to click on one. There we go. Well, if we're all done, um, I can see that uh, the Iris Garden got a lot of votes. Um, so did the sunset <laughs> and the ones with the birds. But, I mean, they're all like tied. So because they, they were tied, I am going to choose the one that I like the best of Kimberly's. How's that for apples? <laughs> And so now, um, all right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take um, the one of the beach, because I, as far as uh, collaborations go, I like the one with the irises is very beautiful, but it's almost, it has a focal point, and that would be the iris, and it might sort of compete with another piece that I would put with it. That's why I'm going to choose. Um, the beach, the, the uh, one with the birds, that is the one they were kind of in a V. They did a little bit of V formation. So I'm going to open this in. Can you still see what I'm doing? Somebody unmute and say yes or no? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're opening that piece now. And now we're in Photoshop, you guys. So this is gonna be our background. And actually, I'm, I might play with the coloration of it just a little bit before we get rolling with the um, foreground image. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go for brightness and contrast. And I'm gonna make it a little bit duller and give it more contrast. You like that, you guys? Somebody unmute? Yes, that's beautiful. Yes, that's good. Okay. I think it looks a little more stunning because it's deeper and richer in color. So I'm going to leave that as such. So now I'm going to minimize Photoshop. I'm going to get out of the backgrounds and I'm going to go to some foregrounds. And I'm going to show them to you one by one. So the first one you already have seen before, Blue Heron. And here's Blue Heron Heart. I'll make it a bit bigger. There we go. 
And here are the wings. Now we're gonna move into a photo that I took recently of a mask that I have here in my house. And here's that red ballerina. Told you she gets around. And in this case, she has those action lines going, right? Don't forget that part. And then here she is without any action lines. And here she is in turquoise. And here she is again, and she's just her outlines, and I flipped the direction horizontally, and she's kind of iridescent greens, really pretty um, colors there. And then um, I'd like to show you, this is pretty much uh, the original coloration of uh, You Make Me Feel Like Dancing. And actually, this, is, this has the background to it, which I would not incorporate, by the way. I would not incorporate this background into the uh, collaboration. And here I just, you know, changed their coloration a bit. Uh, re I just relaunched the um, polling. Yeah. The one that won is Blue Heron Heart. Okay, so. Now, I'm going to take Blue Heron Heart and I'm going to open it in Photoshop. Um, so what we're going to do is, see how it has a gray background? In Photoshop, you can take your eraser and do several different things with it. Okay, so we're going to do Magic Eraser. And oops, it takes away. <laughs> do you know why that happens? because the background color is so similar to some of the edge colors of the wings. So I'm gonna undo that, I crop that, and show you what I'm gonna use right now as a tool. Hello. Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna stop share, and um, so I'm gonna actually unmute you so we can talk a bit. There, so have you ever heard of a Wacom? Uh -huh. yes. Wacom is a, it's a, a brand name. And so this, this uh, tablet right here is attached by USB cord to my computer. And then I have a stylus. And when I, when I put my stylus to the tablet, Mm -hmm. It'll draw or erase or whatever I'm telling it to do in Photoshop. It does it. So I'm doing it here, down here, but it shows up on my screen. <laughs> yeah. That's how I um, illustrated uh, You Make Me Feel Like Dancing and Red Bellarina and, and like that. Okay, so I'm going to use this now. I'm going to share a screen and I'm going to be using this while I accomplish what I need to do here. I'm going to just see what happens if I um, if I click that that tool that said magic eraser. I'm going to I'm wondering if it might not just work better now because I need see that? So do you guys see the uh, little checks? Yes. 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 That means that um, that background now is transparent. Right. You'll, you'll see. Mm -hmm. So now I'm erasing by hand instead of all at once. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going as fast as I can, you guys. I don't want to hold you up. I might just uh, not be too particular about each feather, okay? Because <laughs> I don't want to take too long. Uh, here we go. We're getting there. We're getting so, there. Right? Do you do each, when you do the individual feathers, do you do those uh, by hand or do you do those with your stylus? With the stylus, but I can, make, I can make the uh, point size go down to one. Right now it's at 21. Correct. Well, that's okay. how that's how big this erasure is right now. I okay. could make it as small as one or as large as about one thousand. 
So okay, but you're using your stylus right now. I am. Okay. So we'll just, uh, wow, this is, <laughs> I'm so glad you guys chose hair and heart. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I had to do this with. <laughs> Hey, I chose the dancers just for the, you know. Oh, just so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so our, our ending collaboration might be a little rough because I'm not doing each feather like, you know, I was really going to take my time and do this. Okay, but you're going to get the idea because I don't think you've seen this sort of thing before, have you? Who has seen me do something like this before? Please say your name or... Yes, Kimberly, I've done this stuff before, but I've never done this type of collaboration. This is fascinating. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, yeah, exactly. I've done the cutting out of the image, making a transparent background, but... Yeah. Let me um, see if I could... Um, oh, I better go into these lower feathers, huh? I'm going to just... Yeah. Uh, like I say, I could do this a whole lot better, but I am going to just do this quickly. We'll get the gist of it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Pretty soon I'm going to go back to that magic eraser tool again. <laughs> like right about now would be good. Okay, magic eraser tool. Let's go for it. So we're getting rid of um, the background pretty well now, huh? I bet you if I do this, I'll, I'll get rid of the whole f the feet. I'll oh, see you can't do that. No, can't, okay. do that. can't do that. <laughs> Okay, we're almost there. I'm not going to go much further with this. Oops. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, and one more time on the mat, on the uh, regular eraser, and this bottom part right here. Okay, then we'll be done. Okay. Mostly. <laughs> Oh, magic eraser would work there. Let's do that again over here. You agree? There. Yeah. That worked. Okay. Um, okay. Good enough. So I'm actually, now I'm going to take the hair and heart picture. I'm going to reduce it. That's by hitting alt and scrolling down with my um, mouse. I'm going to hit Control A and Control C to copy it. And here's Kimberly's piece. So I'm, going to, I'm going to move the herons around a little bit, and I'm, we're going to make a decision as to whether we want the heron heart to be centrally located left or right. So Okay, so I'm going to move these guys around, and I'm going to make them different sizes, too. So they could be, like, up here. It could be a little bit lower so that part of them shows into the ocean. They could be up here. They could even be partially off the screen altogether. They could be right. They could be middle. And then you see those lines that show me the very middle of the piece, right? The other thing that I can do has to do with coloration. Um, but right now we're going for position and maybe size. So that's them at the original size. But I could make them bigger. And they could be, again, they could be centered. So make your choices, left or right or center. The right side wins. So I'm going to pull them over to the right. Now we just need to decide on size. So I'm going to unmute you again. Alrighty, so here they are on the right side. And they could be, now look carefully because they could either uh, be bigger and, uh, you know, part of them be uh, into the water like so. Will, will there be anything else 
in the picture? Yes, oh, there will actually. So let me before so just know that I can change their size at okay. any time. Yeah. So, so what I'm gonna do now is move to another part of the polling. And that has to do with transparency. Oh there we go. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. My mind went to the Bahamas for a moment. I don't know. Mm. Alrighty, so um, let's get layer one back. That's, that's the herons. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to unlock the lower layer, and I'm going to go up. the layer where the herons are, which is layer one right now, and I'm going to show you that it's, see the yeah. opacity? Well, it's not small. It says 100%. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to make it, um, let's see, I'll go all the way down to 33% first. Well, 33, that's about it. And then I'm going to go to about 53. That's about it. Look at it hard and decide here. And the next one would be around 65-ish. And the next one would be 73-ish. And then the next one, next choice is about 85. So make your votes, please. And do I have any other? No, that's the last of that. Okay, so now it's just about size. So we want them on the right, and we want them at 65% opacity. Let's talk about size and, and exactly where. Do we want them completely in the sky so they don't, their wings don't touch the ocean? Or do we want them to actually Maybe um, they could be a little tiny bit smaller and just barely touch the horizon. Do you like that? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. that's good. Is there somebody that would like to see it a different way? Because it's our options are uh, unlimitless. A little lower, please. So that the wings go into the ocean. I think, I think yeah, so that's too. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, that's um, another thing I want to play with is a uh, hue and saturation so um, image so i'm going to actually bring it i remember it's 65 but i'm going to bring it up to 100 percent right now because you know they look pretty gray to me in that image so i'm going to um play with hue and saturation <clears throat> so Watch carefully, and we're not going to be married to the first thing I do. We're going to just look at some various options. Here they have a little bit of purple and green. Looks a little bit like vomit. Ugh. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, that's all. That's present. Oh, there's, that's kind of neat. Let me give it a little saturation there. There it's, uh, then lightness, darkness. Maybe in there. I kind of like that. Who likes that? Okay, so I like that. I do. Well, let's leave it at that for the moment, and let's see how it looks at 65%. How's that? Mucho fantastico. Mucho fantastico. Another thing, because, because it's very a very horizontal piece, so if you like that, I'm going to flatten it. So I'm going to layers. And it says down here flatten so i won't be able to manipulate the layers anymore once i flatten it but what i could do and i think i will do is crop it yeah all right we, we, i'll get it we want it, we want it to it. breathe yeah yeah breathe yeah okay got it yeah. thank you Ayande. and um so there would be the finished piece except for one thing we don't have any signatures would you like me to Go ahead and get this piece signed. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, so first I'm gonna save it. Now, here's what we're gonna do next, okay? And, we're, and then we're almost done. I mean, if you have to go, you can go. You saw the main part, but what I'm gonna do now is give it a frame. You know, I'm gonna leave it white, but I'm gonna color it. A grayish, uh, okay, so I'm gonna take 
this dropper, this eyedropper right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to choose uh, this color. Good. That's a pretty color. And mm -hmm. I'm going to just show it to you. It's this color here. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to make it a little greener. Mm. Deep, kind of deep. There we go. Okay, watch this now. So that's the color I've chosen. Mm -hmm. And now we go back to this blank document right here. And I'm going to gradate it over here with my gradation tool. And I'm going to make it smaller right now. And then I'm going to add this gradation. And it's going to be darker at the bottom. Why would I do that? I think I want it darker at the bottom. Typically I do. Let me just double check that for this. So it's darker at the bottom. That's typically because you want a darker color at the bottom of anything to ground it. So, but let's see how it looks when I take this piece and I put it onto here. <laughs> I kind of screwed something up. I don't know how I did that. I'll try this again. Is that the right proportion? It looks kind of wide. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna just kind of finish this up. So I'm gonna make a lot of room at the bottom and less room at the top because we want our signatures. Do you like it with the dark green at the bottom and light green at the top? Yes. Okay, everybody else? You can say yeah. something. Yes, yeah, very pretty. We like it. That is a lot good. But you know what? It needs, you know those birds are nice and black there. I need to create another frame that's black. So we're gonna do that. And it won't take long. Uh, black. Excuse me, black. Black, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna say that that's okay. And I'm going to take it, copy it into the piece, and I'm, don't get excited. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. So it's another layer. Okay. It is another layer. Okay. And I'm going to put it um, between these two. There. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's see. So, Good job. Uh, in, into this, I don't think I can change this one layer. No, cannot. Sure you can. <laughs> no, I cannot. Because <laughs> I flattened it. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so let's just um, let's just fit these guys into this. I kind of wanted to make it. Uh, very, very, um, I'm going to move it up. I'm using my up arrows to do this, you guys. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm going to put it up just a little higher. Okay, cool. Now, um, now let's try and get this. Now I'm going to flatten it. Flatten. And now I'm going to crop it a bit. And just a bit at the bottom. Oops, moved it. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, there. So I want it bigger at the bottom to accommodate the signatures. Mm -hmm. Good now. job. Thanks. So now I'm going to, uh, did I flatten it? It's not going to let me. Why is that? I, I thought you did it already. No, it's the three layers. There. There. Now it's flattened. Now, surprise, surprise, I'm going to bring in something else for you guys with signatures that I've already prepared. Uh-huh. Yay. Make it and go into which one is it? This one, and we will put it into the piece. Oh, yeah. 
and we'll move it to the bottom. Oops, come on. I'm gonna move it over here and make it smaller. That should work. Can't see it very well, but it wasn't quite the signature I wanted anyway, but mm -hmm. well, in the essence of time. This one says stroked. Well, that's the same one. Okay, then we'll take Kimberly's. And um, guess what? We're going to, um, are, you, are you guys okay on time? I just want to make it really nice here. Sure. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to make uh, the background transparent, mm -hmm. including the interior. Of, okay, that's good. And then I'm going to create, um, okay, so it's good just the way it is. Uh, no yeah, way. my last name is K-E-L-L-E-Y. Oh, I know that. You know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I'll, okay. I'll fix it later, okay? Thank you, Cookie. <laughs> uh, I know how to spell that name. <laughs> I was looking at it, and I didn't even think about it. Well, I will fix it. Uh, you know, after this is done and we publish it or something, I'll fix it. Okay. All right. So let me just take it. And that's so weird that I did that wrong. Um, okay. It's this one, right? Yeah. And then we'll just move it down here. <coughs> okay. Now we'll take the audience one and we'll do the same thing. Right? You guys? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Transparent background. There. And did it do the whole background? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I guess it did. Okay. Mm -hmm. What? Okay. Well, that's just really beautiful. That is. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It would be nice if um, all the signatures were similar, wouldn't it? Are you, if you're okay <laughs> with time, I'm going to try and find the right thing, because I even had that mm -hmm. set up for today. Still a bit big, huh? I'm going to make the whole thing bigger so I can play with it. <clears throat> There. There you go. Now, how does that look? You're kidding. It went crooked. Beautiful. Gosh. So, um, okay. So there's finished collaboration with everybody's signatures. <laughs> you guys. Oh, so nice. Good job. Thank you. Excellent. Mm. Yeah, that's that's a pretty piece. That is it's very pretty. pretty, yeah. Beautiful. And let's go back to uh, gallery mode. There we are. You guys, um, I'm gonna. You're not muted, are you? You can unmute if you want, and put your videos back on so I can see you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, do you find using the uh, pen and the Wacom tablet easier than? The cursor on the screen. Then one's mouse? Yeah, then, then the mouse. Right. What would you guess? <laughs> I, well, I know what I would be. And I have a wagon. I've got a tablet. Do you? Up in the closet. I haven't drug it out since we Oh, moved. it's it, you can get very, very fine, like I said, down to yeah, one yeah. pixel. You right. can draw with it. You can uh, make very tight moves with it. Yeah. We're I'd done. love to see you, Kathleen, Lisa. Cookie, We've done make, a your, make of yourselves kind of visible work. again. What? Here we are. A fair amount of this kind of work. We just have got away from it. Yeah. And I used to design all our Christmas cards and did some of this work. Not with Photoshop, though. I did it. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, the Wacom could be used with just about any program. Right. 
Hey, Darlene, do you have a question? I, I just think it's uh, fascinating. I've never done it mm. before, and so it was really instructional for me, and it's, you know, inspiring, and I, I want to. <laughs> so, oh, good. Well, you know, get in touch with me. I can tutor if you need some help. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for your inspiration today as well. Oh. I learned a few things. What was that? I learned a few things. Thank you for your inspiration. Oh, yeah, you're so welcome. Anybody else? Question, comment? Oh, just a comment. It was really wonderful. I thought it was just, I was just so, um, yeah, just taken by it. I, I just was listening to everybody else's comments, but watching the whole, um, watching the whole presentation, it was really wonderful. Oh. Really great to combine the different textures, shapes, the images. I mean, I was thinking of things in my head already for what I, you know, what could be combined and looked really cool. So, oh my gosh, it was just fantastic. Yes. Thank and you so much. Thank, you're very welcome. Thank you for the compliments. Um, again, this kind of brings up the subject. I don't have to be present. If you, you know, you guys or anybody around the world wants to put your images together, like the iris in the garden, mm -hmm. that could have a fairy Put oh yeah it, right i immediately thought of the subtle world <laughs> exactly um, <laughs> and how all those could be brought to life into yeah. the third dimension you know right so i did say at the beginning that that image was more of a focal image but not mm -hmm. necessarily because uh, mm. i can see one or two, two or ten or twenty fairies <laughs> um, mm -hmm. moving around that iris plant I kind of saw that. I kind of saw that iris plant just on the, um, you know, on the ocean, on the Newport Beach photo. I mean, you, go. you know, it doesn't always have to be like what we see in the third dimension. It could be anything, right? Mm -hmm. So right. why can't you have an iris mm -hmm. on the beach in Newport Beach? Exactly. Or growing out of the ocean. You know, you, you, you can you can have whatever you like. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons that I wanted to show you the PowerPoint first was to show you mm. the possibilities. Like the red dress ballerina chick, she mm -hmm. really gets around. The heron, he really gets around. And it's mm -hmm. true of anything. Like I've just been working with images that I've chosen. Mm -hmm. It was so cool to work with Kimberly's today. Because mm -hmm. I... I wasn't, I even, when did I, when did you send those to me? This morning? So I didn't even have, huh? Yeah, just this morning. I recognize those birds. Yeah, I thought you might. <laughs> Kimberly was, was visiting me here in Mexico. That's where she took those pictures. What and an amazing uh, circle of events then. Wonderful. You did a, you did a great job, Sun Shower. Oh, it's wonderful. Home. I do have that tool that with that stylus and I haven't used it for years. Oh, yeah. Well, it might be time, huh? So yeah, I'm inspired. But now do I have to um, purchase the Adobe Photoshop or is that automatic? It's not uh, automatic. You have okay. to purchase it one way or the other. The uh, least expensive would be like uh, the older el elements. Right. Which, okay. which also has the layering capability and stuff. So I'm just kind of up with the times on that. And so I I have, I have it in a cloud and all that. And I have lots of tools available to me a little bit more mm -hmm. than what you would have with elements. And those blue herons were just exquisite. Just exquisite. Oh, yes, beautiful. Oh, thank you. Well, do you want to see them one more time before we say bye to them? Mm -hmm. Hey, maybe we should name the piece. Why don't we name it? Or let's oh, that's a great it idea. name itself. <laughs> what does it want to be called? Heart of the heron. Mm -hmm. Heart of the heron? It doesn't yeah. say anything about the water. Yeah. Heart of the ocean. Heart of the sea. Heart of the sea. Heart of the sea. That's pretty. Heart of the sea. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? No? Heart of no, the like sea. Of Going the once. Going Heart once. of the sea. Okay. Heart of the Sea, I think. Uh -huh. That's good. <clears throat> well, if, if you'd like, uh, once I correct Kimberly's spelling, <laughs> I can send each of you, if I have your emails, I could send you the piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. How do we do that? Thank you. I think if you put them in the chat, I can, uh, I'll have it. 
And you can get a copy of it after the report's done. Right. Uh, yeah. If everybody signed in with their email, though, I see some people are probably on their phone. So. Right. That's why. Yeah. Just add yeah. your email if if I don't have it already. What did you think, yeah, they, sister? They, they, Can't hear you. You're muted. Hey. Oh. No, I meant Kim, my sister. Sorry. There I am. <laughs> She's never <laughs> seen this sort of thing. Yeah. Before. I mean, amazing as usual. Your process, you know, I just. It's unbelievable what you can do with uh, Photoshop. <laughs> to see a, a master using it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I, I use it, you know, pretty much the same way all the time. It's, I mean, there's actually some new tutorials that um, Adobe has put out that I'm gonna I'm gonna watch because there's certain things I still don't really know how to do, and I want to learn how to do them. Well, thank you for that, Kim. Great. Anybody else before we sign off? Yeah, so uh, I have um, Apple products and Windows products. So in actuality, both platforms do have some sort of photo editing or, um, or you can just search for apps. So if you're not into Adobe Photoshop and its current format um, in terms of purchasing or renting, you can use other apps that will do the same thing. They make them all pretty much the same thing, same way these days. So uh, that's an extra plus for all of us. Yeah, good point, Ayanda. Well, with that, I think we'll close this uh, this wonderful meeting that we had. I so appreciate everybody showing up and for the opportunity, Reverend Kimberly. Oh, thank you, Sunshower. This was just wonderful and a beautiful example of some of the talent we have right here at CUL. Indeed. We should oh. turn into, to some of the other things you've got going on, girl. Yeah. <laughs> so who's next? Who wants to give a presentation next? Carol, Cookie's going to do um, chair yoga from Mexico on Mondays at 11. Right here. Right Everybody here. can join us. I like it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you again, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank thank you. you for the donations that came in. You're welcome. I appreciate that a lot. Blessing. Blessing. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thanks, everybody. Hey, I just remembered. I didn't do anything about my little action lines. So I'm, I'm doing a separate recording and I'm gonna add it. So here we go, I'm gonna share a screen. And here's the piece. And I'm, I opened my brush settings. There's all kinds of different ones. Uh, oh, I could make it bigger for you, here we go. I can make the spacing greater, see at the bottom, or tighter like that. But I think I like it right about here. And I can change its angle. I'm gonna change it. I can do it by putting a number in here. Or I can um, use this little gizmo. Oh, that's about roundness. I like the roundness that it is. But the angle, I'm gonna change a little. See at the bottom, it's changing. So, I think I kind of like that, but I, I won't know for sure until I really work with it. First, I'm gonna just give it a test run. And I don't like the angle. So I'm gonna change the angle a bit. Uh, let's see how that looks. Well, it looks a little better. So um, I am going to make it a color. Which color? Well, I can use my eyedropper and I can choose a color within the, the image that we created, our collaboration. And, um, and 
I can see how that looks. First, I'm just testing it out. So let's see how it looks. It's pretty light. It's at 100% opacity. I wonder why it's so light. Maybe I need to make the spacing tighter. Oh, it's just too light. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here, and that's the color it is now, but I'm going to make it deeper um, by going down here. I'm going to just give this one a try, see if I like this. Oh, yeah, that's much better. So um, I'm going to actually end up using two colors, but right now I'm going to use the aqua. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to fix what I didn't do before. So this is not with that brush preset. This is with um, a regular type brush. Okay, we'll make it seven. Okay, seven pixels of these. Now, do you see what's happening here? I'm going into the piece, even after it's been flattened, to uh, try and fix it up a bit. Yeah, I have to stay in the same color range. So let's see, are we in the same color range over here? I think so. Pretty close, a little dark. Um, let me get the exact color. There we go. And now I'm gonna go, oof. Too bright, gotta go down here. Nope, too bright. I'm gonna make it a different opacity. Okay, let's do a little bit here in these wings. Doing it on the left. So what I'm gonna do um, to kind of fix this is um, I'm gonna use my smear and I'm gonna bring these colors in over this gray stuff. See that? I can do that with just about all of it. So I'm just pushing this color in, in here. And the reason it has to be this way is because I, I did not save this piece unflattened. If, if I had, I could go into the um, Heron layer and I could do my erasures, but I now I can't. All right, let's see how it looks. Oh, the left legs, the left feet. Okay. So I'm going to use my brush again, really small, like about three. This is the right color, yes, yes. Okay, good, good. We're gonna have the heron's feet look okay again. I'm gonna call that good. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I think I did that okay. Now we're going to go back to number 80. That's the number I chose. Let's see, is that still good? So we need to save it. And we need to uh, get that green, that turquoise green again. Let's see. It's this, but it's deeper, much deeper. Let's do some action lines with this brush preset. And I like, because it's up in the air, I like the idea of these being up in the air pretty much, and then maybe ending low. So let me try this. Okay, it doesn't, this color doesn't show up much in the ocean. And I also covered the wings a bit, we don't want that. 
So maybe I'll do a thing where it goes from the feet, both feet. Huh? Oh yeah, that's good. That's a good idea. And I'm not sure that we'll do any in the bottom. Oh, you know where we're going to put some? Down here. How do you like that? So that's going to be the where the uh, brush tree set images show up. Yes, much better. In fact, I want it to overlay into this a bit more. Yeah, and then this side, I like that. So now we're gonna actually make it come into the ocean a bit because it's asking me to do that. Okay, come on. That's kind of cool. Let's see how it looks smaller. It wants to be less opaque. So I'm going to make it less opaque up here, and I'm going to put it about 74%. See how this looks. Yeah, because it was drawing too much attention to itself. There. Okay, so I'm going to save this and its maximum quality size. Let's just double check the size. It is, yeah, that's good. It could even be uh, printed out and be okay because its resolution is 300, so that's good. 800 high is always good. Okay, I think that's, that's that part. I hope you like it. <laughs> I guess I forgot about the action lines because I was so excited to put all of your signatures in there and um, I thought we were all done when I did that. Once I signed something, it's like, okay, done. Oh, what about the action lines? Okay, so that's done. See you later. Namaste. Mm -hmm.